The best way to describe speed is kind of like a, it's a little bit of a adrenaline rush. In the Pro Outlaw, we go about 175 mile an hour. In the top fuel boat, we go. Right now, our top speed is 255, and the first time you hit those speeds, it's uh, addicting would be the best way to, to put it. So uh, your adrenaline's pumping for a while before you whack the throttle and a long while afterwards, and that's what makes you come back for more. I was already racing whenever I went into college, so I wanted to, I always wanted to, I wanted to race. I mean, the first time you go out there and it goes back to the emotional side of it on, on the winning part of it and the speed and nothing else is gonna give you that same, whether adrenaline or that emotional feel or anything, anything else that, that you can get. It's just, you can't obtain it really any other way, I don't think. I think that's why there's so many people that race and there's that's why it's such a big industry. But I think as far as, you know, why not do anything else? I mean, as far as like engineering or something like that, I just had already, I had already done a lot of the building and a lot of, I just, I've grown up around it. So I didn't think it was as important to me to, you know, I figured I can, I'll pick it up and learn it. I've been building boats with my dad because my dad ran drag boats uh, back in the eighties and. So I've grown up around building them, and I'd always been into cars and stock cars, that kind of thing. You know, we have our family-owned business, so I work there from, realistically, we normally get there around eight or nine and then work until, it closes at five, the doors do, but we're normally there until six, putting boats away or seven sometimes in the summer. And then we come straight here, and Dad and I and some of the guys, buddies of ours that work on the team, we come here and work here until I, Dad doesn't normally work here until 3 in the morning, but he'll cut out around 11-ish or so, and uh, I'll keep working late until 1, 2, 3 in the morning most, most of every night. And, and I think that, you know, just trying to make the boat faster, making it lighter, making improvements here and there, whatever you can do to, to get more of that competitive edge, and, and that kind of leads more towards the, the winning side of it and getting the speed, and that's, uh, that's what any racer is searching for. I think a lot of this a lot of the background that my dad had, whether, you know, on his drag boat stuff on, you know, he used to work for Eastern, so he knew some aero stuff on that. And what I've learned on the stock car has helped for the drag boats. And we came out of the gate, I mean, in 2015, and we finished seventh in national point standings. And we had, you know, all, we went rounds. I mean, right off the bat, we were, you know, second race out, we were going rounds. And 2016, we won a championship, only being our second year with this boat, motor combination, everything is, nobody has ever really done that, especially as a younger driver. Everybody has their own motives and what they want to do. So some people just do it as a hobby. Some people do it as as career. Or some people do it as, you know, this is, that's what they love and dream and eat and sleep it. And, you know, a lot of people talk about what, whether drag racing or stock cars, what they used to be, where the creativity comes back into it a lot what it is still I mean that's what that's why I you know I personally like the boat over anything else is because of that side of it and you can you can do things and there's not a rule book to hold you down because when there's rules unless there's safety rules it just takes that creativity out of it and it makes everybody go by the same book and everybody by the same code more or less that takes it all away for our team we have everything in-house I think we're the first team ever really to have not only the capsules, but the boats and every all the molds. So we have everything in-house, so we do, we do it all. I mean, there's very few things that we sub out. I mean, everything's pretty much done here by us. So we know every nut and bolt. We, I mean, we know everything. We know every washer. We know every inch of glass, everything on, this, on, on all of our boats. So I think that also helps on setting us apart. And we can redesign a lot of the stuff. I mean, we can re re-engineer it if we want to or make things better, stronger, faster. Having, you know, all the things that we do know and, and that we're building everything in house, I think all of that I think all of that plays into how to get that tenth or how to get that two tenths or how to get I think that part of it is what separates some of the race teams from your from your mediocre to your average to your really good race teams. I think how you search for it and what you look for and 
and what you do and the things you do back at the shop because of how many hours, days, years, months, time that's been spent on just building, whether it's a boat, car, whatever the race vehicle is, it doesn't matter. It's, it's kind of all the same. That's what makes you want to get faster, better. We have normally here, you know, there's four, five, six people, depending on, you know, the, we'll either fly in, whatever else, and come help us. But um, we have a lot of people that, that help us and, and help us get everything built, but they're, they're people that we've known and rely on and you know you can count on and they're the kind of people that if something even if it looks right they'll ask you if this is wrong <laughs> just to be safe and that's the kind of people that that we want you know working on our, our team we kind of see it as more of just not a current now team it's the people along the way that have gotten gotten us to where we are now and that's part of the reason we're as successful as we are I mean, at the end of the day, you can you can do the work, you can, you know, and, and the work and the hours is what it takes, but it also takes the people that have the knowledge to help you get there. <laughs>